I didn't want to make this a Rob Williams panic show, but Udo Udoka just addressed this. We were trying to figure out what was going on. Nobody saw anything. I saw him land a little weird one time and not feel great, but um, you know, uh, there was a theory going around that Celtics were kind of uh, kind of greasing the skids a little bit, setting up setting up uh, uh, plausible excuses for leaving everybody in Boston and not going to Toronto for the back to back tomorrow, and might have oh, you know this might have been a uh, you know smoke screen with Rob, but Udoka just said something which doesn't make me feel great it's bad news it's bad read it get it over with read it he was in quite a bit of pain too early to know if it's a long-term thing i don't like that oh hot take john you don't like when when no uh, i mean the player gets uh, a, a diagnosis like a lot of pain obviously it's not, horrible like, we just I don't said like, we just said i don't like two one guy things. goes I, down we're screwed i don't like two things i don't like that they called it a sprain instantly instead of just whatever you know, they called it a sprain immediately, and they ruled him out immediately. Um, and then Udoka saying this right now is, is kind of too They're honest. Scanned. They're getting it scanned, I guess. Yeah, so it's a really honest early thing to say. And, and again, I hate saying this. I don't know. I mean, you were there, Sherrod. Can you pinpoint it? Do you remember where? I saw him come down on a rebound I don't. one time. Okay. I saw one time he landed I don't, on a rebound, and he just stopped a little and then jogged up some. Yeah, but, and but that I wasn't like the that first was time he's done that in a game. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That, that's that. Yeah, I, I know. What, I know what you're talking about, and, and it felt like it was a normal thing. Um, but, but we've all we all know that you know Rob's health has been great, knock on wood, this season. But it hasn't been that way historically. And and so and and if you look at all the things that have been working for the Celtics, it almost felt as though things were going too perfect. Like everything was clicking. Your bench shots, Neesmith is his hitting shots. He's get pinning, you know, pinning guys' shots on the glass. Tatum is dropping 25 in his sleep. You start going, you, you figure at some point between now and the playoffs, something was going to just either slow the momentum down a little bit. Um, I think this is it. This is that speed bump in the road. I'm not all that concerned about it uh, because I, I would much rather have this something like this happen with eight, nine games left in the regular season than I know, but game two. Of, I, I know, but even, bad. even a, bad. even a mid, even a medium grade MCL sprain cost Durant six weeks, you know, like I don't, if it's a legit diagnosed like sprain of a ligament, that's like significant, like I, I, I don't know how he doesn't miss a round of the playoffs or more. And that's, bad all right uh, easy obviously. easy easy look Let's that's if it's jump. serious i mean you're getting a scan if it's nothing you're fine oh you know i mean obviously i'm saying the range of possibilities even with a sprain yeah. is is not awesome um and that's if it's only a sprain which would be great but if it's more than that i mean yeah we're gonna have to wait for tomorrow we're gonna have to wait for tomorrow and see what they find out but i'll say so this. we'll see he doesn't even know yeah. how he got he doesn't even know how it happened like I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, dude, like typically those non-contact type things are, are no bueno. So I'm not going to well, jump to conclusions. Well, the, but... the one thing I... What's up? Go ahead, Jimmy. No, finish. No, I was going to say I'm not going to jump, jump to conclusions. conclusions, but keep going. But I will jump to conclusions. He's done for the year. No, I'm just kidding. I wasn't gonna... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> um no, we're gonna wait and see. I mean, we what I'm what I'm nervous about is the same thing you guys are. Everyone's nervous about this team is not deep. They are one injury away from just being another team. And Rob Williams makes it all work on the defensive end. So tomorrow, all of a sudden, is going to be a very difficult game for them to win. It already was going to be difficult to begin with going on the road in Toronto. But you're without your, you know, your back end sort of, you know, chess piece. You know, you you know your chess piece back there. He's almost like the queen, you know, of chess. I'm talking about. So, like that's that's tough. That's that's really tough. So. Um, yeah, fingers crossed. Everyone, you know, this obviously. Uh, look, I'm gonna, I gotta address people in the chat. It's not negative, it's called concern. Everybody, chill out. If he's fine, that's great. If he's not fine, that's bad. If you want to live in friggin' fantasy land and right. like everything's gonna be fine because I want it to, great, live there. Yeah, that's fine. That. We're all hoping Rob is okay. This is just concern. And the reason it's concern is it is late in the season, and anything that involves that shelves him for any period of time could cost him critical games and could cost him playoff time if he's back in a week we're we'll pretend we never had this conversation right it's not okay. an issue you move what, on guys but like what are we, what are we supposed to say he may says he's in a lot of pain he's not the coach just said the guy's game, in pain but he's getting Ugh. a skin tomorrow okay oh everything's great big win today oh well 
Yeah. Morons. I mean, anyway, what the hell are we supposed to talk know, about? We're no, commenting no, on no, the No, it's news. fine. We can it's... say with certainty Rob is fine. Everybody, he's fine. Move on. Next yeah, topic. Yeah, hey, you know what? Thoughts and prayers to Rob. <laughs> what do you guys want to <laughs> talk about? Yeah, thoughts and prayers. Prayers up. Just prayers up, and we'll move on to the next topic. Idiots. Idiots. Oh, anyway, I, 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 look, I love you guys. it's more to the, it's more to the point. Prayers yeah. up. It's more to the point that Jimmy said is the the starting five plus Derek White is so insanely good right now that it doesn't almost matter what else you do. You're getting contributions from Pritchard and Grant, and that's enough. That's literally all you need because they're so good. Um, you know, someone on Twitter recently had done an add up of all of the metrics that that you would use to rate players, yeah. and the the six best play, the Celtics six best players all the way down to Derek White we're all within the top 42 in the NBA just in terms of how they're playing this year. That's how good they are. Then the drop off to the next couple guys, they were 250, you know, overall players. It just shows like that gulf where if you lose one or two, there's a big drop there, you know, and you're really kind of struggling uh, to, to fill those gaps. So they can't lose anybody. If they have everybody right now, they're, they're killing people, but being with, without one of the core four pieces right now would be really difficult for them it's huge i mean if you you're gonna miss even a quarter let alone a game without him it's it's yeah, a big deal but the one thing i will say I, one thing i'll say about this team right now is that they are playing with what i would absolutely call a high level of irrational confidence because for you and me and i think for most people the idea of them not having rob is a devastating blow to this already top-notch defense. To them, they see it as an opportunity to impact the game and to once again shut people up about how good they are, regardless of who's in and who's out of the lineup. But I'm going to tell you right now that the way that Rob is playing, uh, it is so vital to everything they do. Uh, because he's that free safety. He's that guy that when teams want to throw the ball downfield, he's breaking up passes, he's getting pick sixes, he's doing all those things that you absolutely – cannot replace because you don't have anyone with that skill set you look at it and, and as much as al horford again love al horford but he's not rob he doesn't do the things there are things he can do better than rob but what this defense thrives off of they don't have anyone that can replace that yeah the, the chat needs someone to hug them and tell them that everything's going to be all right right now sharad are you going to be that guy give him a big hug <laughs> he's yeah bring everything's it Guys, we're sorry. John, I'm, I'll apologize for John. You guys are an idiot. Come on in. Come on in. You guys are an idiot. It's just, you know. One, two, a lot three. Of, you a lot of everything's everything's going to be all right, guys. Right now. Everyone's fired up. You know, there's a lot going on. Everyone, listen, we love the chat. But, yeah, sometimes things can get a little little yeah. testy we, you can you know, we can talk you know, about we can talk about said. this is the thing about we can talk about what could happen or we can just pretend nothing happened let's do the let's do the latter let's pretend nothing happened move yeah. on let's, let's talk about Derek white let's ignore it I, don't I mean, get your 401k right now a, don't, we'll, we'll look at anything a, just ignore it it's all gonna be okay <laughs> But here's here's the one thing that, and, and again, if let's say they are without Rob, because I think we, we need to address that. It's 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 reality. What they're doing now, just careful how you do it. Gives yeah. them the easy, sure. Gives them the potential. <laughs> gives them the potential that if they are going to be fighting for a game or two or, or longer than that, they're in a st they're at a stage now offensively where they can mask if there were some defensive deficiency better than they could a month Ugh. ago. Uh, and that, and that, to me, if you're the Boston Celtics and you're a fan, that gives you confidence that even if he's out for a game or two, it's not like the entire world please, is going to fall apart. And you're, gonna, all, and you're right. all of a sudden going to go, and, and you're all of a sudden going to go back to being, you know, like the New York Knicks or, or one of those teams at the back of the pack. That, that's wow. not going to happen. That's Easy, just, it's just not going to trigger happen. trigger warning when you say New York Net New York New York Knicks. Don't say that. But I mean, again, so, geez, I can't I, even talk. And again, I just I don't understand. It's just. It, it, there's a person on the planet that doesn't want to see something happen to Rob. It's, you. it's this guy. So right. please be okay, Rob. Um, it, it just, okay. please, please don't, please don't do this to us. I need, we need uh, Rob. <laughs> Rob needs to be wheeled around everywhere. I don't want to put any weight nothing. on that. Bub bubble wrap, nothing. Somebody, t somebody tweeted at me. Like I, I, w I don't want him to do anything again until he's in negative pain. Okay. Right. Like that's it. <laughs> like, <laughs> It needs to be the best. He the needs best. to be twenty percent stronger than when he left. You know, like right. it's, it's even to do whatever. Right. Uh, you know, stuff because right. you know they are they they are. Listen, if you're in play for the one seed, you know we were talking about. Oh, maybe you rest some guys down the stretch. 
Not really anymore. I mean, you're playing for you're playing for the one seed now. There's no time to be giving guys rest down the stretch. The the goals the goals have changed. The goals here have changed, right? They have, but at what cost, right? You know, and does it matter? Yeah. But, but but I'm not even. I mean, I've been trying to be funny, but does it really matter if you get the one? You're seed playing this year? massive minutes with your guys right now. I think you know? it matters depending on. I mean, it's it's all matchup based, but I think right. it matters. But, I mean, but I'm not saying I'm not have, saying. Oh, you you don't have I'm not saying it matters. matters. I'm not saying it matters because oh, like congratulations, you're the one seed. I'm saying it matters because if you think you're going to go deep into the playoffs, why wouldn't you want that advantage of home court and you know maybe possibly avoiding the nets you know assuming the nets aren't going to finish with the eight seed like i think it matters for those reasons i'm not thinking hang a banner for finishing you know well, one see, seed i would feel better about that whole one seed thing if you knew with certainty that brooklyn was not going to be in the playing format because right now they're still in that seven through ten range if they had the right. six or fifth spot locked up then absolutely go for that number one spot because that means you were not going to have to deal with them right out the gate uh, and, and again, it's not about being fearful of Brooklyn. It's about just being strategic and who you play when you play them. I'd much rather see them, if you're the Boston Celtics, play a series or two before you got to deal with them. Uh, so yeah. that one seed, it, it, it's, it, it'll be cool to get, but I don't think you need to play your guys like 30, I don't either. minutes uh, down the stretch to get it. Like I'm I said, just saying, I don't, I don't, think, you, guys I don't are, think you bench guys. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I, they're I mean, just I don't think you guys. I, I would pl- I do some maintenance games. I think tomorrow's an automatic one, regardless of Rob being hurt, which obviously he's going to miss at least tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But like, I wouldn't play. I would, I would do the wholesale. I know the NBA hates that stuff, but this is where like the reason I had Rob optimism on the injury thing was that thing we talked about offline, which was maybe they're just setting the stage for resting a few guys tomorrow, so they kind of he, you know. Mm-hmm. Landed funny, and they were they played up the injury to be able to have an excuse to sit him out before the game. They mentioned both Brown and Tatum had knee soreness and were probable, but that to me was kind of laying the foundation for maybe leaving them in Boston tomorrow. That's what I was kind of hoping with the Rob situation was, but I think they were laying the foundation for Tatum and Brown possibly for tomorrow. You know, to talk about the knee mm-hmm. stuff uh, a little bit. Uh, so I think they have it in their mind to look for breaks you know and not overdo it uh i wouldn't not, yeah. i would not be stunned if they if they if they have half a team tomorrow especially when you look at their schedule this week where they're playing every other day uh so you want to at this point you're looking for ways to give your guys some rest i mean think of think about marcus smart how different a player was he when he had all those days off and he came back I mean, he had, he's literally been one of the top three top four guys in his team ever since then uh and not even close you're hoping if you sit Rob for a game or two, if it comes to that, which I I, I just can't. No, see it a won't. He's fine, Sherrod. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. We know this. <laughs> um, hey, hey, before yep. the chat comes, just, in, goes at John again, I just want to say, um, it doesn't look like Al's going on the trip, going to Toronto either, according to Ime. He, he, right. I guess he's dealing with some personal things, um, and he won't be going on the trip. So you're going to be without Al and Rob tomorrow. Okay. Um, Daniel Ime Tice. also said. I guess Ime, oh, okay, so um, this is a, a tweet by Keith Smith. Ime Udoka on player availability if the Celtics have to play the Raptors in the playoffs. I know Canada has changed their rules, but if our guys are healthy, they are all available to play there. So there you go. There, there's that's as simple as it is. Um, so if you're if you're yeah. concerned of guys not being able to play due to um, you know COVID and all that stuff, then Ime saying that's not the case. So uh, I don't know mm-hmm. what why Al, you know. Hopefully, whatever Al's going through isn't too serious, but it doesn't sound like he's going to be there tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. So well, at, at this be, point, though, my, my, sure. but my, my thing is this, and I keep coming back to this because I think it's so important. I'm not all that concerned about what the hell happens between now and the next week uh, because this team is built – right now as they're constructed to be a lethal postseason threat and anything that i can do if i'm the coach to minimize the wear and tear on my guys at this point in the season i'm going to do that uh because again you need this crew ready to rock and roll come playoff time and if that means catching an l or two before that so be it uh it's 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 that important because right now if we're being honest and real about it, this team has a legitimate shot of getting to the finals, something that I did not think was the case a month ago, but they have a legitimate shot, but they need things to align a certain way for that to happen. And part of that alignment is making sure all their guys are healthy come 
playoff time, not come, you know, that Friday night game in Indiana or Wednesday night game against the Miami Heat, but come playoff time. So that, to me, has to be where their heads are locked in and focused on at this point. I'm just scanning for more Rob stuff. I, I think I think Udoka is all is going to give us all we're going to get on it. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's given us a hell of a lot more than than most. Um, I'm he, surprised he, he said that much. I wish he, <laughs> truthfully, I wish he said less. Um, <laughs> I really do. I was like, damn it! Why did you have to be that honest? You could have well, just said, "Oh, we'll see." Uh, but you know what, John? You know what, John? This is the thing. I, I was thinking about this. Um, in the last, as, as talking, this is an opportunity for Ime to show a little bit of his coaching muscles as well. Because if he can, if, if there's a scenario where he's missing one or two of his bigs, and they're between now and the reg- end of the regular season, and they're able to win like you know four, five, six of these last games, his the case for him as being coach of the year becomes so much stronger. Because there's no way that a team that is built the way they are, which I think is built for the playoffs, should be missing key guys and still finding ways to win because their schedule down the stretch is tough. I mean, they play one of the toughest schedules uh, for the remainder of the season. I believe it's one of the five toughest uh, schedules uh, out there. So for them to find ways to succeed with key guys, actually this third toughest schedule, uh, for them to find ways to keep winning if they're going to be without key guys, kudos to them. Kudos to Ime. Yeah, and look, I mean, the Ime thing, I agree with you 100%. He's it. Like, he's the coach of the year. It should have happened. Uh, like, but he's coaching the momentum, here. He's getting he it. He should be, but he should be. It's, but just based off of, it's... based off the chatter, yeah, he's just saying. not considered a favorite. Like, you look at the no. top five, you know, like, you know, five betting well, favorites, and he's not one of them, which blows my mind. So I don't get it all. I I'm don't su- get it at all. I'm surprised. I'm surprised he's not in the top five. But when you look yeah. at what Memphis coach is doing with one of the youngest teams in the NBA, and they they're yeah. pretty much going to lock up that number two spot. You look at what what you know, um, you know Monty has done in Phoenix. And granted, Phoenix was already going to be a good team anyway. But the fact that you have been without the catalyst of that team, Chris Paul, for so long, and yet you're still winning to the point where now Devin Booker is starting to kind of gain some traction as kind of a long shot slash dark horse MVP candidate. Uh, those are the two guys that I think are have the strongest, uh, I think, arguments against Ime. But damn, I mean, when you Ime has had a great, great year, um, particularly yeah, how. They've gone from where they were to where they are now. I mean, he, he, that stretch where they won like nine in a row, uh, something that no rookie coach in the Celtics history had done since I think like Casey Jones. Um, so, and all the and the way that he has helped transform Tatum and Brown and, and 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 Al to be more of a catch and shoot guy. And Rob went from like a guy jumping after every shot at him to a guy that plays defense like a free safety. To all a guy who changes. can't jump at all. Sorry. <laughs> Ever again. <laughs> oh, oh, the tragedy in it all. The tragedy in it all. It's like it's no, like but... if it's like your child is sick and you like want that you want to know what this is going on. Like I want the scan now. I want it yeah. now. I, I don't want to wait till tomorrow. I want it no, now. You I need can't... the results right now. Now, now, now. Um, I, uh, I agree with you, Sherrod. There's there's, yeah, there's I a agree, few Sherrod. good candidates. There's a few good candidates, but. And, you know, it, just because Ime isn't going to win doesn't mean that what he's done this year isn't extremely, you know, impressive. And I'm sure locally, I think it's it's definitely um, more something it's something that locally I think people um, see more than on the national scale. Um, but certainly mm-hmm. has taken a team and a roster that looks just down and out and flipped it, you know, a 180. So credit to him. Um, he'll finish with some votes, I'm sure, in, in some capacity. Yeah, but, yeah he's, he's, he's not going to win the whole thing, but. That's okay. I mean, that's something to build something to build off of. And you know, next year he well, could easily be a, a, a favorite to, to win, you know. Well, you know the other thing too, that, that coach of the year award is almost like the kiss of death. Um, when you think about the guys who win that award and what happens the year after or a couple years after, they're pretty much fired. How, I mean, look how at how is everyone's mood not panicked right now? Am I what am I You know John, you know what it is, John? You know what it is? It's the fact that they've been on such freaking good roll of late that it's like they see this as a speed bump. They see this is just an. This is what I'm talking. When I talk, that about would be awesome. Business, please, be please, yes. yeah. John, this is a. This and is I'm a control, loving that. <laughs> control, I'm loving that control I love the situation, John. I love. Okay. I love the fact that people are not ready to hit the panic button, as they should not be. I get we're it. We're not gonna. 
we're not gonna panic until we have a reason to panic. So right now, and John is like, <laughs> John is no, John is slam, John is slamming it wherever. I'm not. I'm not. Is, you are. You are definitely slamming he's, it, bro. He's. Jimmy, he's fighting it. He's I'm a warrior. I'm a warrior. Like, yeah. I'm a warrior. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait and let we're gonna let the doctors tell us when to worry. That's what we're gonna do. So tonight <sighs> we'll talk about the win. Yeah, we have to acknowledge <laughs> the injury tomorrow or uh yeah, tomorrow night. Every the chat's letting have... me panic. The chat's letting me panic for them right now. Is that what yeah. they yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Listen, John, yeah. tomorrow we'll probably get some. I got I got my so mason we'll jar of moonshine. Panic. Yeah. For tomorrow's show, because there's a game tomorrow night, and um, I think you know if the Celtics do lose that game, I don't know how much we can really. Yes. Look in, I don't know. Really Guys, we that we're in part. this together. We we're all rooting for speed bump. We're all rooting for nothing. Okay, all of us. Nothing. Right, and and, 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 and Toronto, you know, they're, they're playing a Toronto team that has to that is playing must win basketball rest of the way because they're trying to avoid that play in scenario. Right now, they're six in the East, and I think they're like a game out of the fifth spot, but they're also a game from dropping to seven. So they're going to be playing all their main guys, main guy minutes. So that again, beating Toronto tomorrow, even with they had all their guys healthy, would have been an impressive win considering Toronto has so much more to gain. Uh, it should be playing with a greater sense of urgency than the Celtics. Somebody, somebody in the message said WebMD says he's fine. Yeah, right. Don't do not go to <laughs> WebMD. Um, one one bit of advice for everybody dealing with like uh, any any sort I of injury or that. anything. Like, do not go to WebMD because you will leave that website. Assuming that you're gonna die I, like tomorrow. I, I googled uh, uh, knee sprain, great deal of pain. <laughs> came out with everything's fine. Yeah, yeah. Knee sprain. <laughs> Actually, what WebMD would say, possibly am- possible amputation. You know, if things don't get you know better anytime soon, that's not the website you want to go um, to diagnose anybody. Right. Here's the thing. The best part about it is, why do we why do we worry? Because we care. 25 games ago, 30 games ago, we didn't care. I actually would have said injuries aren't that bad. Now we can blow it up. Like we care. Right. You it's in front of you right now, guys. Right. You're yeah. literally it's a, this, was, a this cha- was the this was the one thing that was gonna They're a championship you know, contender. You don't want anything to derail it. You want them to get to the derail finish line in bubble wrap here and be okay. Like that's of course, that's why the you know, you just want it, you want to wake up and find out, hey. He's okay. Great deal of pain. Bad. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Please. Let's and t- get. And it was bad. Right. <sighs> yeah, the, yeah, maybe it's just t- knee pain. Maybe it's just knee pain. A little maybe tweak. It's maybe it's just a pain. tweak. Yeah. Maybe a little tweak, you know, and he's back in a couple of days. You know, maybe he skipped it's Wednesday's so funny game listen to. It's so funny listening to Jimmy try to convince himself. <laughs> You're so bad at it. <laughs> just a little tweak. So, you know, everyone I was playing so, basketball. Was, you know, a little tweak of the ankle and the knee. It happens. You know, you shake it off. Sleep, okay. you know, get a couple good okay, nights. Okay, now rest. you're really trying to feed some bullshit when you talk about you playing basketball and your injuries, Jimmy. Very That's similar to, like, what I play. Come it's on. very, very similar. Me and Rob are basically the same body, and I can definitely <laughs> understand what he's going through. Now the fans are – now they're really going to freaking panic. Now, Jimmy, now they're going to panic. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. <Damn>. <laughs> Trust me on this one, guys. Oh, Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. We're going to wait for the results tomorrow. Look, John. and it's the same thing. Here's a good thing. It's 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 the same knee, right? It's the left knee. That's the one he's had the the tendinopathy with, right? I believe it, it, this is the left knee. That he and I an believe that's with. the one that he's had the on and off issues with. And if that's the case, and again, this could just be like, yeah, I'm cool. Little shooting pain for a second in that thing. Rest. He's had a couple of well, – he had a stint earlier this year. He missed a couple. He's right back to it. I just didn't like that they called it a sprain right away. That's the thing that freaked me out because well, tend- they've, been, they've been writing that tendonitis, but they've been writing that they've been riding the tendonitis thing the whole time, right? The tendonitis, the tendinopathy, all of that, which is, oh, he has a little tendon inflammation there, and that's been what's kept him out. Uh, the couple of times, every time he's appeared back on an injury report, it's been with that. They immediately called it a sprain and then ruled him out, which, you know, leads you to believe that something acute happened. And, you know, and they said he's in a good deal of pain. So it just felt different than what he's been dealing with. If it's just a continuation of the same stuff he'd been dealing with, that he just kind of felt a little funny. That would be ideal, I guess. But like they called it a sprain so fast. That's that was the first thing that threw you, you know, out with a left knee sprain, like. People are minutes saying it's after. the other knee. People are saying it's, uh, the, it's other the other knee. knee. Okay. Yeah. It was minutes after. And that's what I was trying to look up. Is it the other knee? Other knee. It's just um, what people are saying. So 
I'll, I'll believe the chat, even though it's probably dangerous. But. It's a little knee problem. Um, yeah. So yeah. This is not, so this, isn't a, this isn't a Kemba Walker situation where you'd and it rather was not. It's, tear the ACL. Yeah. This is not that. We do not, we do not want that in this situation.